Good afternoon. This is Priscilla with Scylla Travel, giving you a brief update on the saga of my real ID. This is the brochure I was looking for last week from my South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles on real ID. So um, last week, I went to the DMV to get my driver's license updated to the new compliant uh, Real ID law compliant driver's license, hence the name Real ID. Well, um, I drove 30 miles to a rural town because in my area the DMV was so crowded that the line was outside the building and wrapped around the building. So I said, nope, not going there. Drove all the way to a little rural town, 30 miles away, got my number, waited, got up to the counter, had all of the required documents with the exception of my marriage license. So my last tip was for anyone, uh, ladies especially, um, if you have a marriage license, if you've been married, or if you are married and your name is different than that, which is on your birth certificate, you're gonna have to have your marriage license to prove the name change. There are other circumstances in which people change their names, but you would have to have that official document changing it. It would be some sort of court document. So, I uh, went home, searched for my uh, marriage license. I've been married almost 20 years, it's like 19, and I was hard pressed to find it. So I prayed. <laughs> and I found it immediately. So, um, I went to the DMV today after the holidays. Um, I'm a veteran, went to the veterans hospital. There is a DMV department of motor vehicles right across the street from the veterans hospital. I said that one moves pretty quick as far as DMVs are concerned. Uh, Still had a line outside, but not quite as long. And uh, got my real ID. I am so happy I got my real ID. Now, why all the fuss about a real ID? Well, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, there was a federal law called the Real ID Act, which was enacted by Congress after 9-11. And it made the states... Uh, adhere to uh, security standards on issuing state driver's licenses and um, all the states have to be compliant by uh, the end of our fiscal year the United States government fiscal year ends September 30th 2020 and by October 1st 2020 you have to have a real ID uh, or a real ID compliant identification card issued to you by the Department of Motor Vehicles in your state in order to, these are the reasons why you're going to need it, to enter any federal property. That includes boarding a domestic, domestic, not international, commercial flight. Of course, the phone would ring. And going to have to answer that one later. Um, board a domestic commercial flight. Enter a secure federal building or even visit a military installation. In order to get onto any federal property, you need to have a Real ID compliant identification card. So, I'm not going to show you mine because it's private information. But in this brochure, it shows the one without the star at the top. There'll be a star at the top right. If it's Real ID compliant, that one is not. This is a fake one in the brochure. This one is, it has the star. Let's see. Yes, the top one is compliant. The bottom one is not. Sorry about that. The star, if you're looking at it, it looks like it's on the left. And of course, the words are backwards. But this is South Carolina. I live in the state of South Carolina. Uh, you do, um, even if you are a naturalized citizen and you don't have a social security card, uh, you can get one, but please check your 
Department of Motor Vehicles website to check to see what the requirements are to get your real ID. And that would go for a driver's license or a non-driver's ID. So non-driver's ID is my daughter had one when she was in high school. I got one for her. I forget why I needed to have one for her, but uh, she got one. A lot of people get those for their underage children traveling on cruises. Um, so they have some sort of identification. It just makes everything much easier. So my daughter, uh, she's an adult now. She's in college. So she didn't have to come to the DMV in person because her required documentation was already on file with the Department of Motor Vehicles because she got her license within the last three years. So apparently they were up on those standards or moving towards meeting that uh, deadline uh, when she got hurt. So we went online. There's a little tool. Your state may have one where you can check to see if you actually need to physically go into the Department of Motor Vehicles or you can get yours online. So my daughter, her documents were already there. So she didn't need to go in. I could just order hers online. But the good thing is now they have all of my documents. So now the next time I don't need to go into the line anymore. But I do have one note, a note for those of you who are military veterans. I'm a military veteran. So I wanted to have veteran on my real ID card. However, I didn't have my DD-214. So remember, if you're a veteran of the military service, Merchant Marines, Coast Guard, if you're a veteran and you have a DD-214 uh, and that says you have been honorably discharged, you can get veteran on your identification card. So I didn't have that. I can bring it back later. I'm probably not going to. I think she said they'll charge. There's, of course, there's a charge. In my state, it was $25 because I had to get a new picture and everything. Um, it was $25. The rules have already have also changed in the state of South Carolina where we were. They were issuing licenses for 10 years. Now it's eight. So my driver's license will, will expire in the next eight years and I'll uh, have to come and renew it. Uh, by that time, who knows? I, I may need to have corrective lenses when I do that. I wear glasses now, but when I took my vision test, I was able to pass that vision test without them. But um, this is Priscilla coming at you from the Department of Motor Vehicles, talking to you about driver's licenses, identification cards, and real ID and the law. Uh, this is South Carolina's brochure. I live in South Carolina, so I went to the South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles. So for all of you out there, you may be in other states, check with your state's Department of Motor Vehicles. You need to have this real ID by um, October the 1st, 2020, or else you won't be able to fly. This is Scylla's, Scylla, Scylla's Travelers, excuse me, group. Um, and this is a travel group and the people who are here like to travel. Uh, I would hate for any of you to be disappointed after you, uh, roger up a bunch of money on a vacation and then you forgot to have your real ID and when you get to the airport, you can't go because you don't have a real ID. So, um, Start doing it now. Get it now. Don't wait till the last minute. So in many states, I've just read an article about um, in Chicago where they're doing extended hours. They're going to need to in places like that. I live in a fairly small town in the Charleston, South Carolina area, although it's grown a lot. The population has grown a lot and it's very, very busy. So I could just imagine what it's like in places like Chicago, New York, LA, any place that's a big metropolitan area. So don't wait till the last minute, get your documents together. You need a birth certificate. You need your social security card. You're gonna need proof of your address, two proofs of address like a bill. Um, and if you're married, you're going to need a copy of your marriage license and you'll need the old driver's license as well. And if you're a veteran, have a copy of your DD Form 214 so they can put veteran on your ID. So uh, this is Priscilla with uh, Scylla Travel on the Scylla's Travelers Facebook group. 
signing off and the next video i will probably talk about um the importance of health insurance excuse me not health insurance health insurance is important but travel insurance when you're traveling out of the u.s maybe even inside inside the u.s but especially if you're traveling outside the u.s the importance of having travel insurance as well as global entry that's another topic that i would like to do a little a video about um, TSA pre-check and global entry. So this is Priscilla with Scylla Travel on the Scylla's Travelers Facebook group. That's a tongue twister for me and and it's, it's named after me. But um, I'm signing out. Have a good day and happy new year to ya.